After inserting the profiles, the connections between them are not set, that is, they cross each other, as they do not have standard adjustments of corners and ends. In this class we will learn how to make these connections more realistic in the project we are developing, adjusting and cutting profiles. AutoCAD Plant 3D provides tools for cutting and adjusting profiles, which are found in the Frame tab, in the panel shown. We will begin by knowing the option of extending profiles, length and member, which allows you to modify the length of profiles in two ways, total and delta. We activate the command and see that the program asks you to define how to stretch the profile. By typing T we activate the total option, where we can set a new total value for the profile length. Enter the value and press enter. The next step is to select the profile so that the new length is applied, and the increase or decrease will be applied from the nearest side of the selection. Take a look at the example. We can continue to select other profiles that we want to extend with the same value. We type escape to exit the command. Enabling it again, to choose the delta option we enter the letter D. This option allows you to enter a value that will be added to the profile length, if positive, or subtracted, if negative. Alright, now let's look at the cutting options, starting with the cut back member option, which we use to cut profiles in such a way that they connect to each other. This tool uses a profile as a limit to adjust the second selected profile. To use it, we activate the command, and then select the profile that we will set as limit. After this, we select the profile that will be cut. The miter cut member option is used to create angled profile connections with 45 degree junctions and works very simply. Simply activate the command and select two profiles that are perpendicular to each other.
In case the profiles that we wanted to connect do not have the same size, we first need to align the edges of both profiles. To do this, after activating the tool we type A to activate the Align Corners option. Next, we select the profiles. The options we have shown so far solve most of the design needs. However, we still have these other tools, which allow us to extend or cut a profile in a specific plane. By activating the command shown, we define the desired plan, and the plans can be oriented to WCS, UCS and any saved UCS, or even setting with two or three points. With the option of two points, we determine an X and Y coordinate, and in a three-point coordinate, plus X and Y, we can still determine a Z coordinate. Another command that we can use is this shown. We only need to select the profiles and they will fit according to the profile closest to the limit of the selected profiles. Finally, we can undo the modifications applied to the profile, leaving it back in its original condition using this tool. Just activate the command and select the profile we want to restore. We will apply some of the steadied commands in parts of our structure, follow up and finish later. And so we finished this lesson, where we learned how to adjust corners and ends of profiles in AutoCAD Plant 3D, making our project more realistic.